from the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. It was hot today and it's going to be hot tomorrow as well. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. The hot weather will actually continue into Thursday and Friday. After that, turning sharply cooler as we move into the weekend. High temperatures on Saturday and Sunday will only be in the mid 70s. Well, today was the warmest day of the year, replacing yesterday's warmest day of the year. 94 degrees in Wapaka and Watoma, 92 in Green Bay and Shano. And for the first time this year, Oshkosh and Appleton also got up into the 90s. By the way, a year ago today, it was much hotter. The high temperature was 98 degrees. Right now, we have a mixture of 80s and 90s across northeast Wisconsin. Warmer if you're dry, cooler if you've had a thunderstorm in the last hour or so. Dew points are way up there, mid to upper 70s. This is very tropical. The dew point right now in Marinette is 77. It is 76 in Sheboygan, and we're looking at a dew point of 74 in Shano. So when you combine the heat with the humidity, for example, a temperature of 92 and a dew point of 73, you get a heat index of 101. That's what we had in Green Bay for several hours earlier this afternoon. Right now in Green Bay, the heat index has dropped back down to 99. It feels like 99 in Oshkosh, 99 in Chilton, even near the shoreline of Lake Michigan, where temperatures are a little bit cooler. Heat index values are still in the lower 90s. Right now in Green Bay, skies are threatening. We've got some big thunderstorms just off to the west. It is 90 with a south West wind at around seven miles per hour. Those thunderstorms are now moving into the western half of Appleton. Heavy rain, gusty winds, maybe some small hail, frequent cloud to ground lightning. NBC 26 precision radar shows scattered thunderstorms across the area pretty much all day long. But now we're watching a cluster of stronger thunderstorms here across Outagamie County. In fact, we just had a wind gust at the airport in Appleton to 51 miles per hour. So gusty winds, once again, you can see there's a lot of cloud to ground lightning, torrential rain. It's possible somebody could pick up a quick half an inch to an inch of rain as this uh, whole cluster of thunderstorms moves off towards the east northeast basically from about the Nina Menasha area north towards Green Bay. Overall, our main weather maker is high pressure, and that area of high pressure will continue to control our weather here for the next couple of days. We've got a heat wave going on. We're looking at hot and humid conditions across the central part of the country. Heat index values during the afternoon between 90 and 105 degrees. We will see that once again tomorrow with actual air temperatures mainly in the lower to mid-90s. 95 degrees in red granite. Look for 94 in Pella right around 93 in Anston, a little bit cooler near the lake, 85 degrees in two creeks. Precision cast shows any thunderstorms ending this evening. Clear skies overnight. Tomorrow we'll do it all over again. Sun clouds and maybe a thunderstorm or two. So your forecast for tonight calls for the thunderstorms to come to an end. It's going to be warm and muggy. Some fog will develop. Overnight lows will only be in the 70s. Tomorrow, hot and humid sun and clouds with a thunderstorm. High temperatures getting up into the 90s. A repeat performance on Thursday. Friday, more thunderstorms as a cold front moves through. Some of these thunderstorms could be severe and then turning much cooler as we head into Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, we'll have a gusty northeast wind off the lake and bay. High temperatures will only be in the mid 70s. Look at that morning low on Sunday. That's kind of cold, Casey. 52 degrees. Might wow. Need a jacket that day. <laughs> yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah, we kind of might want that though after these few days of hot. It's just really hot out there. Yeah, what we saw today will be repeated tomorrow and Thursday. All, right. All of it, pretty much. Okay, we have that to look forward to. Yes. <laughs>